For coverage on the death of a Connecticut state trooper in Southington. He was killed in a crash on I-84. First, we start with News 8's Bob Wilson. Yes, very somber here on Interstate 84. The accident happened just up around the corner here. You can see all of the lights and state police troopers here. They've asked us to kind of keep back and have, respect their privacy. So this is just the small portion of all of the troopers that are here. There are 100 plus easily troopers Law enforcement here, we've seen them been going back and forth. Trooper one hovering overhead. Take a look at this video right here. This is the motorcycle unit, the procession coming to the scene, getting ready to take Trooper Aaron Pelletier, first class, away from the scene and very emotional here. You can just feel it from the troopers and the police officers around the scene directing traffic. Uh, heavy hearts, just emotional right now as they get ready to bring a trooper killed in the line of duty off of the highway. His family has been notified, and the procession will be taking forth shortly. Now, take a look at this video here. It was a hit-and-run accident. This is a second scene in Farmington. He was struck while on the highway uh, in, out of his cruiser, and he got hit and was run over by a car, a truck. Police say they have tracked it down, and they have taken the driver into custody right now. And that part of the investigation also going on, troopers and police having to investigate that at a time when they're mourning the loss of one of their own. And I had the privilege uh, about five years ago riding along with Trooper Pelletier. Take a look at this here. He took us out on the cruiser for a ride along and I remember it because he smiled. He was so, he was such a happy guy. We were doing it on license plate readers and how they worked to stop stolen cars and cars that weren't registered and how they could track vehicles. And it went off so often, we were trying to do an interview with him and it was just beeping continuously as we were trying to do the interview. And it was, he had a really good sense of humor about that. And it was very easy going as he took us for that ride along. And tonight he'll be going for his final ride as this is his final moments on the highway. We're seeing more police cruisers here. If you come back out live, you can see more state police showing up. And they have brought out a couple of motorcycle units and they're stationed right out here in front. And you can see where they are lined up ready to go at, at a moment's notice here. So the Trooper 1 hovering around and you can see just a large presence of police still showing up here. And that's when you knew it was really serious at 2.36. That's when the call came in. And even 45 minutes later, on our, whereas we were trying to get to the scene, you could just see more state police troopers and more troopers coming here as they get ready to pay final farewell to Trooper Aaron Pelletier killed in the line of duty. That's what's going on here at the scene. We'll keep it right here when they bring his, uh, the trooper out in that pr procession. We'll be here for that. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Southington News 8. And of course, our condolences to the family. Our coverage goes on now with News 8's Jeff Dadarian. Jeff is live at the medical examiner's office in Farmington where a procession will bring the body of trooper Aaron Pelletier. Jeff. Yeah, Dennis and Ann, we've been here now for a couple of hours and there is relatively little activity here. Some of the staff just left within the last 15 or 20 minutes or so. Uh, a couple of uh, minutes ago, there were two uniformed police officers that came through. They were on uh, motorcycles. They drove through the parking lot and they left. I'm told that there are some flags that have been draped along the procession route where Trooper Pelletier will presumably make his way. His body will make his way here to the chief medical examiner's office. And I'll step out of the way for just a moment. It was about 515 or so when someone from inside the medical examiner's office came outside. You see the American flag there, which was lowered to half staff. And I approached the gentleman and asked him if that was in memory of Trooper Pelletier. And he said, yes, it was. He wanted to get the, once he got the official word, he said that he wanted to come out here as soon as possible and show the respect that Trooper Pelletier deserves. So I'm sure a lot of the flags around the state are in that same position as this one right here. So again, relatively calm scene here. Uh, it's quiet and uh, we do anticipate the body of Trooper Pelletier uh, to make, make its way here uh, in the not too distant future. We're live here in Farmington, Jeff Dadarian, News 8.